Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm here with a book review of Sadie by Courtney Summers. This is a new favorite for me. I had a lot of things to say about it and the footage that you're about to see is from my February wrap up, but I talked a lot about it in that video and so I thought I would go ahead and turn it into an individual review as well. So if you guys want to hear some detailed thoughts on Sadie and why I think it's a very important book, keep watching. And the final book I want to talk about today is another one that I I hoped I would like, but I didn't expect to connect with it as much as I did. This is Sadie by Courtney Summers. Again, I listened to this on audio. I do recommend the audiobook. I think it's very, very well done. It's won awards, actually, and deservedly so. The production value is really good. Oh, guys, this is an interesting one. This is like a very dark contemporary YA book that's got like some thriller elements to it, and I... I think the way the story is told is incredibly effective. So you go back and forth between the perspective of Sadie, who is a teen girl who is going on a quite dangerous road trip to try to avenge the death of her sister. And she is a young woman who has experienced um, abuse and trauma, and she also has a stutter, which really affects a lot of things for her. And then the other thing that you get is a podcast. And so you hear snippets from the podcast, interviews with people on the podcast as they're looking for Sadie and trying to figure out what happened to her and what happened to her sister who was found dead. And then also kind of the notes of the podcaster as he's doing research. I loved this. I think it's a very important book. I think it is really brilliantly crafted. It's not a happy book and I think some people didn't like the ending but I loved the ending. I thought the ending was exactly what it needed to be. It is very very dark and I've heard some people say that they think maybe this shouldn't be considered YA because of the subject matter. I disagree <laughs> um, and I'll tell you why. The thing that makes this feel to me like a YA book is that you never get explicit descriptions of what's happening in the abuse there is just enough information to paint a really clear picture of what is going on but without getting explicit in the way that I think an adult book would. But I think this is actually really an important book for teenagers because I think these are things that people are really dealing with. And the thing that I think this book does so so well that I think needs to happen more and needs to be talked about is the fact that predators and pedophiles might not always look like what we think they should look like. That they can be kind, upstanding members of the community who have this dark side and they often prey on people who are most at risk. So like in this case, single moms who are struggling to make ends meet and juggling a million things and are happy to have what who's the, a person who seems like a great male figure or role model who's stable in their kids' lives. Um, and that there are warning signs to look out for. And uh, yeah, so it's heavy, it's dark. The subject matter in here is really dark, but I think it's an important book and it's, it's real. I actually, <laughs> I actually have had um, a personal connection to somebody like this, to a predator, where I and other people around, uh, around me never would have known that that was what was going on, and it wasn't until years later that it came out um, that, that that was what was happening, that this person that we knew who was funny and a part of the community and in church and everything had been abusing his stepdaughter and thank God went to prison for it. But uh, yeah, like it's real. And I think this gives voice to something that too many teens and young people have dealt with and are actually dealing with. And I think it's an important book. And I think it is an important book for a young adult audience to read. The only thing that I wish this book did better was giving more resources for people who are dealing with that and in terms of safe ways that they can reach out for help. That's something that I think I would have liked to see more of in here. But otherwise, I think it's brilliantly written. I think the structure works really well. I think the writing is really good. And I think the topics that it deals with are incredibly important. And so, yeah, this is a favorite for me. So, yeah. So there you go. I know it's like a heavy thing to end on, but I, well, worth it. I'm happy that I read it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.